Hello everybody, it is I, Clawmaster, and one of the things I want to say is I am sorry for not making a new video in such a long time, um, and it is something that life has gotten in the way, as well as other personal projects that need to take in care of. Now, one of the things I want to discuss is one, this is a new video and I'm super excited to make a new one because it's been a long time going over episode five of the mini series I did two months ago regarding the, the debut that was going to happen but was canceled for lore purposes. But I also want to say as an update in terms of where I am I at I keep talking about the debut of me. Uh, entering the scene with my model and everything of that sort well I'm happy to say my model I do have I just got it recently and I'm in the midst of rigging it so I can get that prepared I still got some stuff left to do in order for me to feel comfortably ready to debut but let's just uh, but basically I am getting stuff ready and I am going to hopefully in the future I'm not, I can't put a timetable when exactly when I will debut but when I do I will let you all know when exactly in the meantime when the model is finished and rigged and none of and I still got work to do then my plan is to just make videos with my VTuber model which all of you will see one day or maybe not I don't know I'm still debating on that as well so you'll see some sort of content from me one way or another but just know that the model I have is is is, is in the process of being rigged on top of other things I have planned for my debut because one of the big things I want to do with this is to come in with a, uh, come in with, with a bang and uh, just make a huge impression because that's one of the things I'm really sh help uh, I'm really striving for that I really want to do also you might have noticed there are subtitles beneath me right now and thanks to a friend of mine I've actually en enabled closed captioning in my videos I used to just do it through uh, another website through Capwing to subtitle my videos but now I have this enabled it may not be perfect but it'll be easy for me to actually showcase what I'm talking about without having to go back and edit the words back in. Although I probably will have to edit this anyways because there's probably maybe one or two things I want to show with the, with the mix of pictures or other videos of my inspirations for this video. But with all that being said, let's cut into the action. Let's cut into the clip regarding my thoughts and process on episode five of the online miniseries the debut that never happened all right i am back and this episode i'm talking about episode five of the online miniseries i did in i think at this point uh i will so to to remind those who were kind of following along the storyline i was setting up was that June 18th was the day I was going to debut. Uh, uh, for other reasons, I could not and had, had to delay it. This whole storyline when I was setting up with these videos online was that I am planning this, or Clawmaster is planning this debut with his mentor Eli. And he's going through the process and steps and how to make that happen. At the same time, the villain of, the, uh, of this universe has been keeping an eye on Clawmaster and has left cryptic messages or just self thoughts of what he plans to do against Clawmaster when if he tries to debut or if he tries to do this or that. And the idea with this episode five, because we had one episode where the villain was introduced, you didn't see him, but you heard his voice and he was making a comp, uh, a a threat to Clawmaster saying you can't do this basically and 
we didn't have another villain episode ever since then because every other episode was character development of Clawmaster and Eli and also like a little more details regarding you know Clawmaster's armor and how that worked so in regards to the villain of the piece which I don't think I have a name for him yet actually <laughs> he has he exists in the story I have the story written out but I don't have a name for him yet, which I'll have to figure out later down the road before everything is debuted. But with the, with the evil villain in this story, I needed something like a pre... Because it was only going to last for six episodes. Six episodes, I should say. And I, one of the things that I needed to do was reintroduce the villain because people might have forgotten. Or in, in this storyline, it's like, hey... It'd be kind of weird to have him just show up once and then at the very end it's like oh I'm, I'm a thing by the way because there has to be some sort of episode or some sort of uh thing to show that the villain exists in this world and he is not just there because he's he's there for the purposes of ending the story if that makes any sense so with this episode, I had to think, okay, so we're going to have another build episode. And what direction am I going to go with this? Um, so I had given some thought. I've given some thought in regards to what exactly I wanted to do with this. And I think one of the inspirations for this was when I thinking of evil villains or evil I would say masterminds as well is evil people or evil people but uh, villains of this nature when it comes to movies comics um, games anime is that uh, some of them are like very demented some of them are like really just inside their own head and Sometimes they would like to read or have this self gratification of this. I am doing this for this purpose and I am doing it because I feel this is right. And I feel like this is to me the only way to change. So in regards to that, uh, this episode was basically another internal monologue, but much more creepier than the first time around and this this time around what i end up doing was i end up actually going the route of creepy uh of like mysterious which you actually see on screen the horns the the that is a model but it's not an official model that i end up uh, <laughs> are going to use i actually looked around to see what kind of model i want to just shadow or to just give an idea of like there's somebody in the clouds like just standing there and one of the ideas was um going to face rig and using that demon model that they have in there and i ended up using that green screened him and then just make sure that he's completely covered in black so that you just see the shadow of him but you don't actually see him uh, he is not what is going to be the final villain in this in this whole main story i have another another idea as far as like how i want to approach that but in regards to using this for this video i think it was like for now okay i don't think anybody's gonna go in there and, or be sad or it's like hey this isn't the thing i want <laughs> so uh it's, it's definitely a a model that was not used or is not going to be used but i just needed something to just to show hey he is lurking in the shadows quite literally in this video um i did like the idea of, of having because usually i would have subtitles and they would be at the bottom or there would be somewhere on screen and i usually most most of the time i would do that for my videos when it came to the online series but this time around, I want to take a, a much, again, the idea is creepy. The idea is, of this whole piece is a villain being very creepy, very uh, making you scared type of deal. And with the text, I wanted to also, uh, I wanted to also foreshadow that. Or oh, what's the word looking for? 
Like I wanted to reflect that same idea. Um, much of this is, you know, if, if you look at other horror movies, you have similar uh, similar things happen when it comes to trailers, when it comes to videos, that there is creepy footage in the background, uh, like a, a cemetery or like a, a swing by itself going back and forth. But you see like this, the, either you hear the words from a demented child or you see subtitles on, on the screen. Uh, and sometimes it's no words at all. Sometimes there will be no voiceover. It's just the words and the creepy music. So that I went in that direction, and I feel like in terms of how I felt, like it, 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 it produced or how it looked on screen, it looks good. I think that the the, I think that the creepy text definitely encompasses that creepy feeling of, of what's happening. And as far as like what the video is describing, so. I think in this direction when it came to this villain, um, which I have a vague idea of who he is, that I'm still kind of figuring out what exactly he is, but having him talk about, or having him basically cite out a poem, like this entire video of him speaking, like those words that he's using is not him specifically, but it's uh, well, from, from what he's saying, like it's not him specifically talking about what his inner monologue is, is thinking, but it is very much like a poem. Oh, my said like a poem. It is a poem. <laughs> I, basi I, was, I basically read a poem, a creepy poem that I felt like would fit this video and would fit the character. And uh, it worked out well. I think that it, it, come, it comes across pretty well. I like the fact that at the very end, you know, you see Clawmaster and the question is like, you know, if you kill the real monsters at the very end, you know, who's really is the real monster, which is another story point. I could go in, in that direction when it comes to the characters. And I kind of like that idea or like that question he throws out there. Cause then it, that's something that a, that's something that a, a, a person of this magnitude, a, a villain of this, of this magnitude would think about in terms of like if a villain is trying to convey his thoughts and he's reading a poem but he also wants to declare against Clawmaster hey I'm doing what I feel is right and if you're not seeing it the way I see it and maybe maybe that what you see is wrong and that maybe you're the monster I'm not which is something really cool and something kind of really puts it on his head in terms of like, oh, maybe he's not as bad as people think. So I like that idea. I like that the poem I picked out. I, I do not have the, the name or the, the person who wrote it. I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I will have to uh, find out find it out later. But um, it was it was a good poem and it was uh, definitely fitting for this. As far as the background footage is like I did some minor tweaks when it came to some of this stuff. Um, which I will show you guys here in a second. I do have Premiere, I do have a Premiere Pro opened up so I can show you what that looks like behind the scenes, video editing wise. But not much else in terms of the motivation. Uh, in terms of the what's the word looking for? Not the motivation, but like in terms of the thought process behind this video. And to put it simply, the TLDR of this video of, the, of making this basically evil villain, make it creepy. Creepy poem lead into the debut and Clawmaster at the very end. Done. <laughs> so, yeah, that is something that is, um, I think, felt like it, it came together pretty well. So, with that being said, let me switch over to Premiere Pro real quick and show what I did behind the scenes through the video editing aspect. And I am back, this time with the video editing section of my video. Now, uh, I got both Premiere Pro and After Effects loaded, so I can actually show you guys what I did. But for this one, I actually did most of it in Premiere Pro. Um, most often than not, when it comes to, because I use a lot of special effects in my videos, so I am more inclined to use After Effects than I would use Premiere Pro. But in this case, I actually ended up using Premiere Pro. Now, some of this footage that you see on screen, let me actually make this a bit bigger. Um, again, 
I'm subscribed to a website that gives me free footage uh, that I pay for and this came in a clutch when it came to making this video. One of the things um, that I did was some of this footage that you see is really dark and that's on purpose because prior it wasn't. Uh, let me go ahead and see. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and undo. There we go. Yeah. So prime example, this footage clear as day. It is daylight. It is um, obviously much more brighter than what is seen. But what I did is that above my head uh, is uh, what you called a uh, luminary color. And that darkens, uh, darkens the hell out of the video or in video editing terms, crush the blacks. Um, I played around with the settings regarding how I felt needed to get this color nighttime. And it, in terms of how I felt about it, it felt, I felt like it was, it came out pretty well. Um, and for me, it was basically just playing around and see how it looks and toying around with that idea. And I believe that was kind of the same case for everything else. This one, yep, same thing. It's uh, basically the editing, the, the the lighting is what it did mostly in this video, in these videos clips. Um, I believe this one, let's see. Yeah, it is also that. Okay, cool, yeah. So basically did that. Uh, this model, actually, let me show you. So I told you guys before that I ended up using a model from FaceRig that I uh, wanted to use as some mysterious evil demon in the background uh, b being that person or being that uh, that thing that uh, is imposing that that evilness danger to Clawmaster. Well, if I took out, let's see. Uh, let's see, we take out the brightness, take out the luminary. There you go. That's what he looks like. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and actually go and put this on full. There we go. That's what he looks like. And uh, that is the model from Facebook that I end up using. And if we actually go ahead and... Because all I did, honestly, was just move like left to right. I didn't do anything much regarding no speech in terms of the model. I just needed something in the background that would just kind of be there and look menacing in the dark. So, that's what happened. That's what, uh, that is exactly what uh, ended up being the thing, which is pretty cool. Now the text you don't see because I didn't do the text here in Premiere Pro, but I did do them in After Effects. Um, so for the text, for those who are wondering, let me go ahead and grab this. So the text that I end up getting, let's see if I can go ahead and affect some uh, prefix. Oh, hang on, let me do this. Paragraph, paragraph is at the center. Um, let me see, do I, where the hell? Hmm. Uh, where is the, oh, character. Okay, there we go. So the text I got was chomp. I think it's not, it's not installed in Adobe uh, After Effects, I believe. I don't think it's a, a default font, so I have to go get it online. But uh, it was chomp. Right, uh, C H A W P. Um, and in regards to the effect I end up using with these with these texts, so let's see. So the so one of the things I do want to point out is that the sorry, crony. Um, <laughs> yes, I have notifications of YouTubers on my YouTube. Um, but uh, <laughs> in regards to these uh these glowing effects. So one of the things I want to first start off is that I end up using a text animation uh, for this. And just because you see it slowly 
unveil itself letter by letter, essentially. So that what I end up using is called, I animated that with opacity, went to animator, and basically messed with the start and end times and offset, so that whenever this is revealed is when that opacity will take its animation place. And if you want to see what that looks like, that line, let me go ahead and put this more. So this line is what's hidden because the text is already there. The text is already done. It's just the process of this animation within this uh, text format will unveil itself. So you have one, this is the ender. This is the start. And I just simply made a keyframe at the start and one at the end. Also, if you are using After Effects and want to do the same idea like I'd like this, I suggest using the range selector, whatever which one you're using, set it to 100%. Because if you don't have that and you did this, you actually get it reverse. So keep it 100%. <laughs> um, but outside of that, in terms of the now this color wise like you see it kind of glowing that's on purpose and i did two things one i made sure that the outer glow was set to a reddish color almost like a pink now I'll go ahead and click this if you're wondering i set it to hashtag ffa7a7 and I toyed around with the settings. So in this case, I made the size 93%. I made the opacity 75%. I set it to screen, single color. And I made the range 53.6. It's the range where I felt it, it, it did pretty well in terms of the effect. In terms of the color wise, I believe that color is actually white. Yes, it is. So this text, while it looks red, uh, actually the glow is red. The text itself is white. And if I go over here and take off the glow, is white so yeah so that's pretty much the text for uh, the text over the footage this is this is in the uh, TikTok version I believe yeah the TikTok version so that uh, just wondering why the why the uh, aspect ratio is a little weird but I felt like this entire video came out pretty well um, I think that it definitely eludes creepiness. Um, it definitely eludes the idea of like the villain is here. He is definitely here and he is watching and just waiting for his opportunity to get at Clawmaster when he gets a chance to. And he's monologuing this, this, uh, this poem that he's thinking of or that he is saying out loud. Whatever the case you might be, whatever the case, he might be thinking. And stereotypical villain stuff, because most stereotypical villains are up their own ass <laughs> and um, and usually are the ones who are think they're high and mighty or usually think that um, they are gods, per se. Like the entire storyline, again, I keep saying this because I want to make it clear. This entire season one of Clawmaster, when it eventually happens and debuts, like this is going to be a very simple storyline. I'm not doing anything complicated. This is just a setup for what's to come in the future. And um, when it happens, um, it's going to be cool. I have so many ideas I want to do when it comes to incorporating storylines, because with this, this opens up so many things in regards to what, in my mind, season one. And this is me just, this is me saying this because of somebody who's made the story already and who's need to make uh, some tweaks. Now I'm thinking about it to some other things to the story to make sure it also makes sense. But I like, I like the, the direction this is going. Again, I like the idea of diving more into the lore of my VTuber model and character. And I want to explore that section of the scene much more than before then and i and i like to do that for now just by myself and my characters i have 
But in the future, season two and whatnot, and three, or however how long I end up doing it, um, I want to definitely open that up to much more than just myself, and I'll leave it at that. So, that is is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it i'm pretty sure the subtitles were pretty okay as i'm looking at the subtitles some of the things that were on screen was not representative of what it actually said so keep that in mind this is some new tech but also makes my job a little bit easier so i don't have to go in and edit it in the video every time i can just simply record and hit go so with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully next week I'll have another video. And if it is, it's going to be in the last video I did. And I'll explain the process behind the season finale of the online miniseries of Clawmaster not having a debut because of evil villain. But uh, yeah, more video content to come after that. Whether it be silly or anything else I can think of while I'm still working on my own stuff for the debut in the future. So again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.